all receive them for a holly. Amen. Praise God. Let us have standing on the wall 18 years of pastor standing on the wall and God we thank you today to hard trials to tribulation to persecution we have been faithful and God we want to say thank you glory to your name we bless you today God because you saw fit to bring us here today just one more time to give you glory to give you honor to give you praise we thank you God for your word let your word come forth as fire in the name of Jesus have your way in the service Lord touch the hearts of your people today we need you God today like never before and we are asking right now in Jesus name God that you will move on our behalf wash us in your blood purge us and cleanse us with his son that we may be cleansed in the name of Jesus set the fire our mind set the fire our heart in the name of Jesus God we thank you 
We thank you, God. We thank you because we believe right now by faith, God, that you will do what you say. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you. We magnify you. Without you, we can't do nothing. Without you, we can't do nothing, Lord. But through your son, Jesus Christ, we declare that we are more than conquerors. And we thank you right now. And we bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. And he's worthy to be praised. Before we move on with the service, I just want to declare to you today that the Lord has given me a word for the church. And I feel kind of like Isaiah. And he said that the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Thou hast anointed me to preach the gospel. To bring good tidings. Meaning to bring good news. Praise the Lord. To pull down strongholds. Glory to God. Glory to God. Before we get into the word, I ask Minister Quran if he would help me with this song. They're going to play this song, church, but I want to, to ask you today that are sitting under the sound of my voice that you will hear the words of the song because God wants to encourage us. He wants to, to build us up. He wants to deliver us and to bring us out and make us whole again. Glory to God. Glory to God. You can play the song, mister. I wish I could sing this song. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. as a whole have had its share of ups and downs. Glory to God. Glory to God. And the world, the, the, the adversary, the devil has looked on the people of God and they thought that we were weak. Glory to God. I feel like preaching in here today. But God in his sovereignty and his infinite wisdom yes. and his omnipotence yes. his omnipresence yes. knowing all things yes. sees all things yes. can do all things yes. but fail but fail always find a way of escape for us yes. Yes, he did. whether it be to song yes. whether he send a prophet yes. whether he give us a word in our heart to, to study or to pray or whatever the case may be. I'm not going to be before you very long. But I, I want to warn you today that, that, that God is good. I, I want to let you know that he has a word for the house. And if I could give you, give you a topic today, I would have to explain it to you because it's one from down in the south. I would say to the people of God that the fox is at the hen house. Yeah, 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 God, I hear you. The fox is in the hen house. Y'all just be patient with God. Just hold on just a little while. All right. So the fox is in the hen house. So so when 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 this thing came to me some time ago, and I've been pondering with it for some time, the fox is in the hen house, and I begin to think about fox. See, people have chickens. We call them hens. A hen is good for so many different reasons. A hen. It's preserved for hatching 
or, or, or bringing forth food in the form of an egg. A hen is good for bringing forth food in the form of a hen. It's meat, it's chicken, it's poultry. So what they do in the South, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. And they do it here too. I'm gonna tell you how I know in a minute. But when I was coming up, folks would raise chickens and hens right at their house. And sometimes they will go to the hen house to find out that some of the hens are not there. We're going somewhere now. So then they begin to see evidence that something had came in and took the hen out. The hen didn't just got out and walk away because they checked the hen coop that was made of wire. There was no way for the hen to escape on his own because they clipped his wings. So he can't fly up. He can't fly away. So listen to me now. So they, 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 they are sure that they have them protected. Listen to me now. And then what happens is some kind of way. Nobody knows because nobody sees it happen. The fox has the tendency to get in the hen house. And you go to the hen house and you recognize that the hen is gone because you see evidence because there's feathers ruffled everywhere and it looked like there was a battle going on. The hen was fighting for his life but he just couldn't win because the one that was protecting him did not see the fox. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know I'm in the right house. So what happens is that we said, okay, the fox you got in the hen house that time, and you got one, but I'm going to fix it where you can't get another. So we are sure now that we have made the proper, the proper, the proper, because my wife is, was on me about the words that I use, get and got and ain't and not. So I'm trying to use the proper language here. Come on, go ahead. So we, 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 we try to be sure that we make the proper practice or procedure
Because God made provision for me to move in. We going there now. So lo and behold, my wife and my children was afraid of the chickens. I kind of wanted to keep the chickens. Because they began to teach me all over again. Because God takes simple things to confine the wives. Now what happened was, in the past, the fox had gotten in the hen house, brother. And I took in some of the chickens. So now the other chickens were aware that some of my associates are missing and some fox came in here and got them and I don't want that to happen to me. So what happens now, then you have uh, out of nowhere, here's an old black crow who the fox can't get because he said, hi, I want you all to listen now. I, I hear God talking. So what the crow do when, 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 when danger comes, he begins to sound off. So the hens were aware that the fox was somewhere creeping around and they began to run for shelter. Now I want to tell you something now. This is not what I heard. I seen this with my eyes. I witnessed this myself. And it was back then when God began to show me some things about the church. So when the hens, you, you don't have to put them in. All you got to do is let them out. So 6 o'clock in the morning, Minister Peron, the hen is ready to come out and go eat. All you got to do is, do is open the coop and he'll come out, you go on by his business and he knows how to sustain himself until evening. Right. Understand to know that it's time to go in because the fox is coming back again. Were 
the hand of God, the people of God, the prize of God, the call of God, the chosen of God. But there was a fox in the hen house. Glory to God. Glory to God. Right. And, and, and the kings had became wicked and contrary to the law of God that was given to them by the prophets, by Moses and them. Moses goes up to Mount Sinai before the Lord and, and come back down with instructions from the Lord. And the people made a covenant. I'm going to get out of the way in a minute. And they made a covenant with God when Moses come back and he began to speak what thus says the Lord. And the people said, because it was a mandate by God that they keep this covenant until the day that they die. So the people vowed that because God had brought them out of Egypt, he departed the Red Sea and, and he protected them and he brought them out of Egypt when they were making bring out of mortar as slaving in Egypt, as slaves in captivity. Amen. And God brought them out. So they made a vow that we're going to keep this covenant with God until the day that we die. Amen. Now I want to tell you that I identified the fox in the hen house. Amen. Now I want to tell you that the, the, the fox in the hen house one, I said God is more than one fox because I've seen a red fox on this street and a red fox on that street and a black Shot right. 
Yeah, yeah. Now, now, I got to tell you about this other fox now, because it was more than one fox. It was another fox that was a red fox, and that fox today in the church is called extortion. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, somebody may not know what extortion is, yeah. but I want to tell you extortion is that when you use what you got that is not right to try to take something from somebody else. Yeah. It's, it's when you come and you get a drunk back spirit to try to keep the people of God.
He went down to the brook. And I said, he went down to the brook, and the raven fed and the brook produced water. Glory be to God, God has provided for the prophet. Yes. But that wasn't the only reason God sent them to hide himself. He needed to be built up. He needed to be trained. He, he needed to be taught the proper way. And the only way he could get it was from God himself. God had to send him out in a dry place yeah. and provide for him. See, sometimes, saints of God, we got a lot of foolishness amongst us in the church because God calls us to go to the dry place. And we want to blame leadership for being in the dry place when if we stand still that like God told the children of Israel and seek the salvation of the Lord. So 
now we see here as the man of God was an, an obedient unto God and he moved as God has spoke that God provided for him. And because God provided for him because that was promised, look at what happens to the one that blessed the prophet. Amen. Now that was all the food that they had. And remember there was a famine in the land. Remember there was no more resources. No more help. No more. This is it, man of God. This is all I have. And me and my son going to take this and we're going to eat it and we're going to die. But the man of God prophesied. Yeah. He said, hold up. He said, take that that you have. Don't yeah. worry about yourself. Just do as the man of God says. Glory yes. yes. be to God.
said, who hindered you? That you should not obey the truth. What bewitched you? Did you listen to the false prophets? Did you listen to those that came to you and said, Bishop, thank you, knows everything. I don't like what he's doing. And court pastor needs to sit down. He always got something to say. Huh? Who bewitched you? Now, 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 now. I know I'm in the right house now. Yeah. 
that according to Romans 8, when he said, Therefore now there's condemnation to those which are in Christ who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Glory, uh -huh. Jesus God. I'm getting ready to get out of your way. But you made that confession yeah. to God. You were baptized and you went down and, and represented that you were living a new life yeah. and you were no longer the old man, but you were a new creature in Christ Jesus. Yeah. So he said, if these things are true, seek those things which are but but Christ sitteth on the right hand of the Father. Huh? Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. We got to kick that fox out of here right now. All both two of them, and the one that's hiding, he got to go too. <laughs> so we get two out, he's gonna go on his own. I can guarantee you that. Glory be to God. Yes, Lord. He's a deliverer. Hey, y'all, I'm gonna shoot. Glory be to God. Oh, God, I thank you. Glory to God. So, yeah, man. <laughs> Draw back. Glory! Yeah. 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 I ain't gonna be a part of it. He kind of was shot. I don't he like shot that. No, he right. got yeah. I don't want to be in here. Thank God. I ain't doing no. He got no shit. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't going to take a wash. I'm going to church today. Sit right here. Time to mess it up. Well, well, you got to deal with you. Hey, I'm on set. Lord, have mercy. Well, have you ain't gonna be watching in here. Huh? The fox is creating all kind of havoc. You better put your eyes on the fox. See ya, come on, shoot. So the Bible tells us to cover the more excellent gift, and we found that the more excellent gift is love. Huh? Yes. You can speak in tongues and prophesy a lie or truth. Right. Do all kinds of things. Creates what they call spiritual fornication because what happens is you become an idol worshiper. But yes. uh, God said that thou shalt have no other gods before me. For I am the Lord thy God. And the prophet Elijah said that I am jealous of God. Yes. Glory to God. Not to mention that God is a jealous God. He don't like no adultery and no fornication of these things taking place in his house. I know y'all don't like this kind of people, but I like it for formality today. So the prophet Elijah had to go back. I'm getting ready to go. To the king. And when he went back, now remember, don't forget the process of preparation. Uh, don't forget what God spoke to him and how God provided for him. Can you imagine being at the brook by yourself and the bird bringing you food? The nastiest bird on earth for three times a day for three years. And you got to wait there until God says something different. Then you just wait. The Bible said that day that went up on the Lord shall be new This should run up and wait the things. This should run and not be willing. This should walk and not faint. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Again, I say, wait. Wait. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Some of y'all want Bishop to sit me down right now. <laughs> they want Bishop to sit and pull his coat tail. Put him in the house! <laughs> <laughs>
Tuesday. Yeah. So that Jezebel spirit, Jezebel, she talked good folks, safe folks, folks that God done brought out homelessness and drugs and hormones and lying and sickness and backbiting and stealing and all these things God brought us out. She wanna teach them how to go against God. We got folks in the church like that. Huh? All God done brought you through, they come to you with some junk. Well. The Bible said, if sinners entice thee, you can sit down. Right. Glory to God. I feel deliverance in the house. Yes. So I want to talk to you for a few minutes. I want to do what it calls. I think I did a pretty good job, Bishop, if, if, if I may say that. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent Jesus. You did. Praise God. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know next week this time. <laughs> I exit Jesus, I, I, I speak what the word says, and it demonstrates the theology, mm -hmm. which is God speaking himself. Yeah. I believe now I can do a little application and close it out. Watch out, man. Go on. Because see, some folks want to know how you know what you know.
a good wife. Because when I stay home, I persuaded her to stay home with me. Sometimes she said, I'm going to church. <laughs> See? I'm going to tell y'all something else. See there? That's I'm going to tell y'all something how I know what I'm talking about is right. Amen. I was a part of it. Now, the, 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 the,